Oh, all right. What's going on, my social media family and friends? I hope everybody is having one of the greatest days of their life. Man, I'm so stirred up about all that God's doing. I just, I just feel the Lord doing so much in, in this day and age. And I want you to know, don't you ever... Don't you ever give up on a single promise or prophetic word that the Lord has spoken over your life because this is a day and a time and a season that God is moving in such a powerful, powerful way. I just wanted to talk to you today about complete or complacent. That there's so many times when, when I start to talk to people um, through different social media, email, online, in person, whatever it is, that there's a lot of people who, as you're talking to them, you can tell they are complete. And there's a lot of times you can find out that people are complacent in life. And I'm telling you, you never need to be complacent in your life. A lot of times what happens is people are moving forward with the things of the Lord, but all of a sudden they get complacent in prayer. They quit going to corporate prayer. They don't do private prayer anymore. Man, I'm telling you, that's no good. You got to keep moving forward with the things of the Lord. That there's so many times that, that you see people that become complacent in reading the Word of God. They become complacent with fasting, and the word complacent means smug. They're not moving forward with, with all that God has for them. This is a time and a season. You got to be found in Word and fasting and the place of prayer. And a lot of times what people do is they get complacent in working out, that they get complacent with their health, they get complacent with their relationships, that they're not reaching out to voices in their life, they get complacent. I tell you, I will never get complacent in prayer or fasting or the Word of God. I will never get complacent reaching out to people that are speaking into my life. I, I reach out to my mentors. I got two mentors in my life. I reach out to my mentors on a regular basis because I never want to be complacent. I always want to be moving forward to be complete with the Lord. And so one of the main reasons for, for this video is I just wanted to offer something to you. You know, in all of our videos, we always offer prayer, and, and I'm, I'm blown away with how many people send prayer requests in. And so many people that send prayer requests in, one of the main things that I, I see is, is they are complacent, therefore they're not moving forward with God to be complete anymore. You know, I know one thing, I personally want to be the best version of Jojo Dawson I could possibly be. I want to be the best version I can be first of all, for God, to be used of God to fulfill my purpose and destiny. But I want to be the best version I can be for my wife, my kids, Roar Church, Texarkana, Roar Apostolic Network. I want to be the best version I can be to be a health coach. Everything that I'm doing, I want to be the best version of me. So I keep moving forward. Uh, every day I read the Word. I'm in prayer, multiple prayer times a day. I'm always reading uh, books, and I'm, I'm just working on what God has called me to. On the spiritual side of things, I'm always finding different books by different people. I love Dutch Sheets. I love John Eckhart. I love reading their books, and I love just, just gleaning different wisdom to help move people forward on so many things. Now, as you see in the com, I mean in the the title, it's complete or complacent. But then I put our website up with contact, and this is why there's four things on the contacts I want to tell you about. My wife and I, August 21st, we are actually doing a six week series called Moving Forward Past Life's Obstacles. And, and if there's a place in your life that you feel complacent, my wife and I want to help move you past that. Fill out that form. Hit hit the the link up below when you hit the link it will actually give you four boxes to hit the first one is joining the life mentoring august 21st it's on wednesdays for six weeks we're going to help people move forward so they will no longer be complacent the second one is prayer one of the things that breaks my heart is when people message me and say i feel like i'm alone i feel like i don't have anybody i feel like it's me versus the world. Don't say that anymore because that's not true because I will pray for you. My wife and I carry a strong breakthrough anointing. I will pray on your behalf. Okay? The second thing is the apostolic network. There's a lot of people say, I don't have apostle. I don't have a prophet. Well, I walk in the office of, a, of an apostle. My, my wife is a prophetess. We will align with you if it's God's will. You fill out that form. Listen to me. I will send you a link to put you in the Roar Apostolic Family 
um, group page on Facebook. And so we do mentoring during the week. And so people are out there for you. Don't ever say you're out there alone. If you are, it's by your choice because I'm offering it to you. This is what I am. You can't see my hands, but I am reaching out into the land of complacency and I am pulling people out. If you want to be pulled out of the land of complacency, I will pull you out. Okay, first one, life mentoring, second one by prayer. The third one was by the apostolic alignment that we will offer, bring you into a family. And the fourth one is health coaching. My wife and I are health coaches, and I absolutely love it. Lost 19 pounds in two weeks. This program has radically changed my life. If you are stuck in complacency in health, Fill out that form. I will set up a phone time with you. We will talk on the phone. I will help you. We will pull you out of complacency, teaching you healthy habits to regain your life. You know, um, I have regained my health within a month. There are so many people who are regaining their health. And, and some people within the first week are talking about losing 10, 12, 15 pounds, regaining their health. This is a time, don't be complacent in your health. Don't be complacent in life. My wife and I are offering help in these four areas. The tab is right there above. Now, why is this important to us? Because yesterday when I was in prayer, right when I woke in prayer, this is what I felt the Lord say to me. After today, your life will never be the same. And, you know, yesterday I didn't see anything in the natural, but I felt it in my spirit. Something's happening. This morning when I woke up, I felt like a huge giant tidal wave was just hovering over us, about to come crashing down over us. But what does it say in Ephesians 1, 5, and 6? Th that God, He planned from the very beginning to adopt us as His glorious children. One translation is delightful children, so he could cascade over us with his love. And the word cascade is like a, a, a tidal wave flowing over you with love because he loves us so much. And so when I read that, I understand how much God has for us. And so people message us all the time. They feel like they're alone. I want to help pull people out of complacency. Why? Because I have a purpose. You have a purpose. I have a dream. You have a dream. And as we come together, we can help one another reach the dreams that God has for us. Now, listen, it's all to benefit the kingdom of God. Because remember this, everything is created in heaven, but manifested on the earth. God is just looking for people that he can manifest his glory through. And so my wife and I are giving our lives to help people in these four areas to help them move forward. That's why we're doing the mentoring class, moving forward past life's obstacles. If you are stuck, we will help you. We will pray. You know, apostolic alignment. You might need a family to help you build something. That's what we do. And health coaching. I love helping people take their health back. You, I just feel so much better. I want you to feel better about yourself, spirit, soul, and body. So love you guys. And remember, if you could only see, if you could only see what God has for you, if you could see the doors of opportunity, if you could see the size of your breakthrough, you would not live in complacency. You would wake up and you would move forward with every single thing that you got. The body of Christ, we're about to enter into one of the most exciting times in the history of man. I believe it with everything that's within me. That's why I'm always talking about revival. That's why I'm always talking about awakening the kingdom of God being manifested. Because every prophetic word God's given me, every prophetic dream God's given me, I believe it. And don't you dare ever give up on anything that God has given you because this is the time that things are about to start manifesting. And I'm telling you, you need to be the best version of you. Love you guys so much and keep going after all that God has for you.